I felt immediately I realized that people were a little more closed minded as a child I would I remember kneeling down in front of the altar and I would pray for three things one of them was to grow taller and fairer my own grandmother told me that yeah. I love you my blackie uh, then I used to pray that I wanted a daughter and make her a Miss India because to me that was the epitome of uh, beauty of, uh, not just beauty but um, to be seen and to be heard and i used to pray that i didn't like i didn't like volcanoes and earthquakes so i never wanted to en uh, encounter <laughs> oh, wow. one that was yeah, very I used to be frightening to see lava and stuff oh. so our guest today is one of the famous most celebrated makeup artist of bollywood and india Elton Fernandez. Namaste, Hi. namaste. Namaste, Elton. I'm super excited <laughs> to start this conversation. So, when you look at um, your own life, and I, I want to talk about certain experiences. Kal jab humari baat ho rahi thi humare recording se pehle, to apne bahut khubsurti se kuch cheeze batai jo apke pure personality ko develop karne me bahut maine rakhti hai. Ha. Apke conversations jo logo se hoye. Who were the most influential person to accept yourself in the beginning of this oh, journey? Oh, how nice! I'd love to give credit. There's a Uh, one of my oldest friends who uh, will be a makeup artist in hyderabad he's mm -hmm. kafi he was famous in his in his time mm -hmm. uh, the best in hyderabad unka naam tha sach hai sachin gakku ji aur okay. uh, unhone mujhe makeup mein introduce kiya jaise i used to paint oil on canvas uh, not oh. really oil but whatever time pass on canvas huh. uh, and he said that you know makeup is kind of like painting on canvas it's oh. just a canvas that talks back yeah aur wo line mere liye itna like it was such a powerful line yeah. to me it somehow felt like wow this is a new out i have <laughs> maybe yeah he introduced me to a friend who he was painting her face just at home chilling mm. and i he said why don't i paint half or aap dusre half ko complete kar dena and then let's rate you and see okay. and he gave me a 9 on a 10 for my first ever face wow. which was really nice wow. i mean i'm sure it wasn't a 9 on a 10 but it was motivating to hear right and uh, over the years he just voluntarily not that i asked for it gave me books that he had gave me old makeup took me we went to exhibitions and got more educational material on makeup. beauty and how to understand all of this little old old magazines uh, and we used to discuss it and then when we went out to clubs to gay nights we would do little makeup and smoky eye and go out and stuff nice. you know and he would be like oh dekho aaj main rani mukherjee ban ke ja rahi hu like it's just <laughs> funny um but it became really my uh, ama and i realized that uh, the power of cosmetics is not just about looking pretty or appealing yeah. to anyone it is more about uh, you feeling ready to take on the day and wow. who you want to be today so today i might want i might feel like a demure little sweet uh, thing tomorrow i'm really foxy and feline and that will show in my makeup language how i express yeah so when people look at makeup they do not understand the art form of it mm. it is more over like you know cover up mm. cover up your flaws and cover up your imperfections un logo se ab kya kehna chahoge i think cover up is more it appeals that that kind of uh, perspective appeals to someone that is looking to hide or stay hidden right um but and that's fair also because it takes all sorts but for me i like i think queer people what we need is to be seen and heard mm mm-hmm. uh and we don't need our vulnerable side uh, necessarily to be advertised we need the strength so that's the idea behind how we are this all out gung ho you know balls to the wall kind of an attitude wherever whether it's at pride or because it's a take it or leave it attitude because you've had enough with asking nicely yeah of course so you many know. years of it so mujhe yaad hai main bombay mein ek pride parade ke liye pehli baar gayi thi i think 2019 pehle wala पहली मैं भी था उस 2019 वाले ओके सो जो पेडरो नहीं या एवरीथिंग हैपेंस देयर ओनली इन टाउन सो आई वाज देयर एंड आई वाज द होल इशू दैट वाज डिस्कस्ड एंड आई फेल्ट सो एंग्री एट पीपल नॉन क्वियर पीपल दैट आई हर्ड क्वियर पीपल डू नॉट हैव द राइट ओवर देयर बॉडी दे कांट फाइल अ कंप्लेंट इफ समबडी टचेस समबडी अब्यूजेस समबडी अग्रेसिवली you know pass any comments about your body and mm. that was the the appeal that was being made in 2019 mm. and to my mind what we take for granted for like so called straight people mm. is not acceptable mm. so in the movement what are those things that you feel require more attention one i just feel like it's not just about queer people i feel like this has existed forever right i mean it it's when you are when you are made to feel other othered mm. like jaise aap koi aur ho Hmm. Your our EQ and IQ don't appeal to, apply to you. It's Matlab like that kind of attitude. मतलब हम एक ग्रुप है और आप उससे बहुत ही अलग हैं. Yeah, so first it was the blacks, then it was the women, then it was the gays, then yeah. now it's the trans people. You go after somebody because you don't have anything else to do in life. Yeah, 
I suppose. I mean, are you yeah. just unhappy with your own self? I suppose. But so it's it's such a larger. Yeah, but it's also that power people get by oppressing the oppressed. Yeah, but even the oppressed, they continue to oppress others. It's like yeah. uh, you're blind to. We all we all only like to see empathy with the faces that we recognize. You know, बाकी के जाओ भार में. It's like that. Hmm. It's. जो हमारे. जब तक मैं पहचानता हूँ, तब तक मैं इज्जत दूँगा. नहीं तो मुझे क्या? मेरा बच्चा नहीं है मैं क्यों मैं क्यों? You know, my mom probably has that same attitude. If it's not my kid, I would have given up long ago. But because it's my kid, let's pray that he'll turn straight. Yeah. You know. So, so we all have this. Even educated. Educa- first of course, world people. Because I don't think yeah. it's anything to do with education. It's a lot to do with yeah. the mindset behind. Yeah. So, ऐसी कोई बातें जो आप आपको पता है कि आपके life के turning points रहे. हाँ. Uh, I would say one was definitely moving out of Bombay because I remember we travelled by train. Mm. I remember sitting on that train and like feeling all those tears and all. You know, it's like a, such a dramatic SLB <laughs> moment. Uh, moment. <laughs> uh just thinking oh mere koi dost nahi honge like i won't know anybody i can't speak that language and i knew something was brewing with my liking for boys but i didn't know what to call it so it right. was all of this but turning points one was that move because it's literally be- like being thrown into a new pool mm. that you've not interacted in you don't know the depth you just have to learn uh to adapt and then the the next one would be uh when i found my queer circle in hyderabad for sure we used to meet in like real Secret in people's mm. homes, and just you can't really have loud uh, scenes or anything. It's just like silliness. You indulge yourself in silliness and humor so that mm. it softens the blow of everyday life. But uh, that was definitely something. And then when I had to leave, when I decided to move, I came out to my parents at twenty-one. Uh, my life was quite difficult after that mm. with my mom um, trying to pray the gay away. Mm. Uh, and so at twenty-three, I decided to just leave, up and leave. I got a job at. Uh, Mac Cosmetics selling makeup retail. Okay, in, that was the uh, beginning in, in Mumbai. Mumbai. Yeah. Okay. And I left in nine months. Yeah, and then I struggled for a few years. I got my big break in Bollywood thanks to Onir. Onir was one of the people that I think I would always have. Uh, he's a director yeah. and he's a dear old friend, and uh, he just as an older queer person hmm. didn't want anything in return. Just wanted my time and my skill. Um, and he wanted to help someone that was uh, younger okay. that he could pass on to. Yeah. And he fought with all of these actors, whether it is Nandita Das, Manisha Koirala, Juhi Chawla. In my movie, I am. They didn't want anybody new. They've had people doing their makeup, kain, but, you know. So whatever. They say, so yeah. they said, but he was like, no, no, you have to try him. Just try. Don't hire. It's fine. Yeah. But all three of them liked me, and I ended up. He gave me uh, opening credits on his film on the screen. It was in, enjoyable to watch. Oh I mean, God. it's a director of makeup and hair, mm-hmm. you know. Because I think, and he made me realize that I could emote through skin. I don't enjoy making women look just pretty. It has to go beyond okay, that. इस बारे में हमें बात करनी बहुत जरूरी है. Emote huh? through skin क्या होता है? So say for example when you are in the Bahamas or in Goa on the beach, your skin will color a certain way. Right. Your uh, when you're laughing, it will be a certain kind of tones to your skin and your bl- the way you blush. That's what I apply to Aditi, for instance. It mm-hmm. looks like she's always about to. you know you blow your nose and she's about to shed a tear because mm-hmm. she's vulnerable so that's all makeup so you put a little bit pink in the ears oh. lobes you put some in the nose oh, um, you mean aditi rao hedri aditi rao hedri sorry <laughs> you know, you're up here i'm like me like uh-huh. really <laughs> uh, aapne to lali laga kya hai <laughs> yeah so one year was another big uh, change for me my relationship with my ex mm-hmm. uh, neville he was one of the, the a gentleman that i've dated We dated six years. I think he was the biggest, biggest uh, blessing that have come to me oh, uh, because he taught me a lot of culture and how to, uh, yeah, how to not burn bridges. Because as queer people, there's something called queer rage. Up okay. Google, pick up, you know, just look it up. It's so fascinating how all queer people, mm. no matter how happy they are on the outside, you have queer rage somewhere on the inside. And when you're triggered, that rage comes expresses, out. Expresses, you know. So um, it's there. It's it's from. So it's all the anger against other yeah, things that comes is, out. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, remnants. So he had taught me to sort of maybe process that, and it doesn't have to be by him telling me. It's just by by being observing him and his crew. Hmm. I could learn so much. So romance for me, love is definitely a big factor. Hmm. I feel really really purposeful when I'm in love. Hmm. Uh, haven't been in six years, which is why I'm kind of jaded. Yeah, have you just, have you experienced queer rage yourself? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I continue to do so. It comes out. It comes out in uh, parts. It comes out when I feel used. 
if mm. i feel taken advantage of mm. uh, even in a professional space and i've been told off by my management for my temperament because i yeah there are certain things that i just yeah mm. it just feels unfair i know that the world will look at it and hear it and think okay it's just being sensitive you know but like a uh, little bit of a drama so ye baat kai baar hoti hai ki jo straight log hote hain wo queer logo ko over reactor mante hain uske bare mein aap kya kahoge yeah but it's a different personality type hai bas it's like some people are more dramatic than others you know and we are we we have been suppressed for so long like i said it's constantly about the need and the requirement it's a human necessity to feel, to be seen and to be heard hmm uh and we never feel that as e- the closer the quarters like jaise our family our close friends one of these are the people who diminish our experience diminish our grief diminish our um our struggle you know you come out growing up wanting to claim more and more space because you you've not had any seat at the table so okay. it becomes about fighting for that space so can we talk more about it something that happened in your personal life similar to this yeah i mean who wants to take an opinion of some fairy drum- jumping around mm. that's how they see us you know a poof a pansy these are words that you are called so you're already feeling like like if someone told you say my grandmother used to call me blacky when i was growing up from a family of fair anglo indians i was the only dusky grandchild mm. so she used to call me blacky and she thought it was funny but to me as a young boy it broke me uh, my self esteem mm. i didn't realize that until later post adolescence mm. but as a child i would i remember kneeling down in front of the altar when you know to pray and i would pray for like i told you yesterday three things one of them was to grow taller and fairer mm. because and you know that then you realize that wow okay because i'm a blacky yep my own grandmother told me that yep. i love you my blacky mm. so it's not abuse you can't decide not, whether it is or not you don't know the lines are so blurred yeah. uh then i should pray that i wanted a daughter and make her miss india because to me that was the epitome of uh, beauty of, uh, not just beauty but uh, to be seen and to be heard and you have a global stage and you've yeah. got a sash and a crown <laughs> what else do you want heels and a gown <laughs> i mean that's your moment and i should pray that i didn't like i didn't like volcanoes and earthquakes so i never wanted to en- uh, encounter oh, wow. one that was yeah, very it was frightening to see lava and stuff oh. i mean of course in school bailia chakka ijra um you know today what have queer people done we have uh, reclaimed these words in these right. spaces yep. so now we call each other chakka and you are, we are close yeah <laughs> you know uh, i've taught all my straight cis het male friends uh, to speak in third person female with me oh, nice. not because i want to be spoken to in but i can call you to i'll say so for example i'll say to my friends uh, where is she going if i see her his story going so i'll say where is yeah. she going what's she up to yep. oh she's got a new shirt is it like that and they they reply yeah she's she's cool like that or yeah. so they get it initially like my assistant krishna who used to work with me for 9 years but i used to call him also like this kahan ja rahi and he'll say i am not girl i'm boy yeah. you know and i told him that why do you think so why do you say that why does it upset you like aap Yeah, why, why, why is it upset you? Hmm. Do you think it ultimately boils down? You think women are inferior? Yeah, that's why you don't want to be something like that. Wow, these are all stereotypical ideas. How so, much of a gap is in our mind? We are full. We don't even know that we are using it. I'll give you a simple example. Yes. How we are uh, so classist huh. and we refuse to see it in a country like India, which can't be separated from class yeah, system. Oh, you oh, know, everywhere. But इन अपने ही घरों में हाँ. आप अपने बारे में सोचिए ऑडियंस आपके घरों में हाँ. आपकी मम्मी आपके हेल्प हाउस हेल्प के लिए सेपरेट एल्यूमिनियम मग रखेगी सेपरेट स्टील का प्लेट रखेगी हाँ. और उनके लिए एक अलग सा चमचा होगा चमच ना चमचा हाँ तो दैट इज यू नो एंड वी डोंट रियलाइज इट वी थिंक अरे नो माई यू नो सीता दीदी वो मेरे बचपन से मेरे साथ में थी वो ही मेरी दूसरी माँ के तरह हाँ लेकिन उनको थोड़ी ना एक्सेस है आपके ग्लास के प्लेट उतना भी एक्सेस नहीं यू you नो know, वो नीचे ही बैठती है ना हुँ. आप लोग सोफे पे बैठते हो वो जमीन या मोड़े पे बैठती है सो आई रिमेम्बर वेन आई सॉ दैट मूवी द हेल्प Which was a wonderful I was just movie. thinking about the hell. I called oh my mother God. and I said, "Listen, I, this is not okay. Do you realize that we've been serving the house stuff out I'm of helped. a separate glass, and yeah. for what? We yes, use the same soap to wash both." क्या फर, क्या फर्क पड़ता है you know. और हमारे घर में जो मेहमान आते हैं जाए बट इज ऑल ऑल बॉइलिंग डाउन टू द्लासिज्म बिल्कुल So now I'm 39, mm-hmm. closing 40 in a month, and uh, I'm excited because I feel like her her the style just like every decade that passes, I feel like it feels better to be alive. 
Yes. You know, it feels like, I, of course, your dating pool kind of maybe like kind of Diminishes. shrinks <laughs> and all of that. But I think the returns are high. Yes. Because you find other things, like you find peace in, or you find uh, joy in being wiser. Oh, yes. And you find joy in... So are you claiming you're a wiser person absolutely. now? Absolutely. Okay. No question. Uh, let me just look at your handwriting and confirm. Yes, sure. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> then I think that my question would be, uh, there are certain experiences that are feel new to me. Hmm. Uh, and I don't know if this is an incoming midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> and because you deal in uh, people of our age group, I thought, I don't know how many queer people you know. I don't know if that changes the, the discussion. But I want to know if what my doubts um, are an incoming midlife crisis. Because kabhi kabhi mujhe, uh, jase I feel jaded mm -hmm. with my industry. Um, what do you mean by jaded? Jaded, like you feel a bit, because you understand it not just as a craft now, like oh makeup, but I understand it as a business. I understand it as something that generates money. I understand how much money is riding on my shoulders and how much that means to brands mm. that are synced with me. Uh, I understand what it means to build my own personal brand, keep my race, uh, my horse in the race mm. um, and how others can ride off of it. So the whole But, business in this industry. Yes. Is something and then you understand the politics. Mm. And then as a queer person, you understand identity politics. Mm. And there's just so much as you mature to life hits you with these new bats and it's like, <laughs> wow, okay, this is also. Ye bhi hai, ye bhi hai. But because your dating pool starts to reduce, because people start to call you uncle, <gasps> yes, because they read your age, you know, <laughs> you just feel tired when you go out. Somebody said, "Oh, the the pains do not go away," and that was the time I realized I'm growing older. <laughs> <laughs> Emotional pain, physical pain, yeah. mental pain. So coming back to the question that you have specifically, yes, is your midlife crisis getting to you? Are you in a is midlife, this a midlife crisis? You're confirming? So let me just tell you what it means and why people call it a crisis to begin with. Okay. Okay, I feel people have this idea of success or growth which uh, will achieve in a point in their life. In which they have money, in which they have fame, in which they have recognition, in which they have respect. And many people don't know that when all these things are done, then what is the life of life? That's it, that's it, that's it. I would say midlife crisis because mostly it happens around 34, 35. In the life, we have given a game plan that people have given. We will do schooling, then we will do college, then we will do a job. There was a direction, just like that. There was something that happened. After 35, people get freedom to think that when all the needs are full, then what do I do now? And this is not because people don't have to think about it in life. So if I ask you, what would you like to do with the remaining 35-45 years of your life? Honestly, I think I feel trapped in a cage, like not a Sony cage, but maybe like some cute cage I'm trapped in. Because when I was leaving Bombay, I mean Hyderabad, I just wanted to be happy. I've never chased money, never chased power, never chased uh, fame. Mm. These were not my goals. I wanted to be a makeup artist of repute and I wanted people to respect me. Right. So, and I gave myself a five-year timeline. You won't believe I had a five-year plan because mm. I had a degree in BA, whatever, politics and mm. stuff Political like that. But science. you learn the five-year plans and things like yeah. that. You know, eight-year plan, <laughs> countries Political, have yeah, it. Of course. So why shouldn't I? And I had five-year plans and my five-year plan was in five years, I'll elevate my... Um, standard of living hmm. ja in Bombay start small live in a chawl all okay hmm. pay 5000 rent it's yeah. fine I'll struggle but I had to do that and I got recognition in three years I already got my first movie and I felt happy and I, was, I had this relationship with my ex that went on for so long so it was all great yeah. um, and then of course I was also very ambitious then uh, and driven as a younger person with no money, mm. I was not asking for a rupee from home. Jo bhi mm. mere, I, I was in Google, when I shares sell kya tha, I had one la two lakhs from that. Uh -huh. I came with two lakhs and two suitcases to Bombay. Nothing oh. else. And now you have a 2 BHK? Yeah. But I mean, I'm renting, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's the same. It's a house thing, so. which is very well done Thank for people. You. We're going to just show it. With, with art and yeah. with very eclectic things yeah. around. It's so beautiful. You know, after, and then I, I got... Maybelline, New York's ambassador for the country. I've gone to New York Fashion Week and work. These are all benchmarks for me. You know, of creatively course. directed uh, Amazon India Fashion Week four seasons. It was like really nice. You're right. meeting, you're working with the best people there are yep. in these industries and crafts. And uske baad mujhe laga ki ab ab kya karu yar? Mujhe like ah mujhe maza nahi aa raha hai abhinetriyon ke piche bhag ke or abhinetriyon. Okay. You know. I know. Uh, like I just felt like you're expected to be servile. 
Mm. You're expected to sort of bow down to uh, people's perspectives and opinions simply because they make more money than you. Mm. Or, of course, they know more than me. Yep. Of course, I was a younger person. But that doesn't mean that my knowledge or my experience is uh, irrelevant and your or opinion. unimportant. Yep. And my opinion. But uh, I find that this industry doesn't make a lot of... It makes space for people. Mm. But I think for opinions, it takes time. You need to... And as a young person, it takes many years to learn to shut your mouth. Uh, sit and wait your time. Mm. Write it out. Mm. You, nobody teaches us this. Uh, it's possible. Hai? Ye coping mechanism in this industry is very important. I think for minorities, it's easier. You learn to wait your turn. But you don't have the opportunity to say it. That's why it comes out of rage. But I think if you remind yourself, mm. at least your instinct is to sort of remind yourself and check yourself hmm. it doesn't matter if you successfully do that hmm. but at least you're checking yourself and you're aware it's changing your consciousness over a period of uh, time, time. Okay. and uh, yeah I, I can't say I've mastered it hmm. but definitely somewhere half the way or more hmm. than yeah does that answer it? so no the question was slightly different the question was if you have a chance if you have a chance if you have a chance what you want to do I mean I would have loved to do what I do in like New York or London, but now I'm so used to my lifestyle here. Mujhe ye sab gaadi bangla, staff or mere do billiyan or you know, nahi ho sakta hai abroad. I'll have to sit and do bartan se leke, jhadu se leke, sab kuch and I'll have to share an apartment in New York because yeah. it's that expensive. Right. You know, of course they pay more, but I would need to start from scratch. Or now at 40, I have mere patience hi nahi hai. So agar, agar ye, ye aapka raastah thoda asaan ho jaye and you actually get the exposure. So Bilkul. you don't have to share your apartment for that Bilkul. matter. And you have somebody who will help you with... Ye aya tha mauka. So phir kya hua? Mainne jo show kiya tha style by Neha agar aap log ne dekha ho. But wo, wo show ke baad I got uh, called by Queer Eye. Uh -huh. You know the Queer Eye, the international show on yeah, Apple. Yeah, yeah. So those producers called me from Hollywood. I didn't know it's a show. I, I know it's like a property. IP I know, but huh. it's a TV show. They call in these five queers. One is a special uh, expert on beauty and grooming. One is on fashion and style. One is on food and uh, holistic living yeah. like that. So I was called to be the, one of the new five, five to audition me. And I had two auditions with the director and the creative director. And it didn't work out eventually, mm. and that's fine. But I remember first thing when I finished, I called my manager. I was Googling and I, I just typed, what did the uh, Fab Five in Queer Eye first season earn? I just Googled <laughs> it because I didn't have any idea what to yeah. quote, you right. know. Um, and I was like, wow, 10 years ago, it was so much. I mean, now with my profile, I'll get a lot of money. I'll get a holiday home there, I'll get a holiday home there. All these dreams you said, and then it never happened. But that's fine. But one thing for sure, so I'm looking at your handwriting sample. Jo cheeze aap bhoat tehe dil se chahate ho, cheeze ho jate hai. Tehe matla? Bhoat bhoat dil, passion se haan ji. Yeah. Yeah, but right now you're not convinced to let go of what you have created. No. And if you really truly want to create a different kind of life, if that matters to you, you'd be able to. Yeah. So your midlife crisis, jaha pe aap bhi ho, kai baar hami ye pata hai nahi chalta ki hum us situation mein jitni khushi mehsoos karna chahate the, utni to mili nahi. Hmm. We don't take a score of that. Hmm. We don't realize that my idea of happiness only has changed. Hmm. So, I love that you said that. So, what is happening now? No. Because ever since then, these ambitions of, you know, national, say, international star, Banunga and all of that, no, because I, I realized that, wow, I'm happy in this middle path. I don't want more. I don't want fame. I don't want to be really wealthy. Hmm. Uh, I'm happy being just comfortable. Hmm. Um, but any free money, I'm happy to accept. So anybody sending. <laughs> hello, shake, hello. In, in, in case somebody is listening. wants me to drip in jewels, please do send. <laughs> so, this midlife crisis is a very interesting part. Uh, we don't know that what we need to do after this. Hmm. See, so you're an end result oriented person. When I look at your handwriting, the letter T hmm. is crossed at the middle part. Hmm. These people always look forward to the next goal, the next objective and go for it. And for that, you need a little excitement. Hmm. If you don't feel excited, you're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, nice. And no matter how big the deal is and how yeah. matter who that celebrity yeah. is, for you, if it doesn't excite you, you won't do it. Yeah. Okay? People don't understand this completely, but people with that kind of letter T would always 
just have the end goal in mind mm. for you the end goal is something you need to redefine and it mm. need not be in the same profession it could be a side yeah. hustle yeah. it could be something that you have never explored before yeah. like during the pandemic i started doing line art and i started doing it very seriously and my teacher who is a uh, a famous sculptor arzan khambata started calling me an artist and i'm like no no that can't be that can't be like you know i just started what is this like and people looked at the work and they said oh this beautiful art i'm like no 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 that can't be because for me i, I couldn't believe my father was an artist right it's a great idea to be an artist but then i realized through those simpler strokes mm. i was exploring an emotion that i was feeling because mm. whole day i spoke with people Mm-hmm. और इतने ज्यादा इमोशनल अपहीवल्स मैंने एक दिन में महसूस किए आर्ट बिकेम माय वे आउट एंड देयरबाय इट हैड द एनर्जी ऑफ व्हाट आई एक्सपीरियंस्ड तो वो लोगों लोग उससे कनेक्ट कर पाए पर मैं अपने आप को कभी उससे पहले आर्टिस्ट के नजरिए से नहीं देख पाई दिस वाज अ पॉइंट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम समथिंग ऑफ फ्रॉम द मेन स्ट्रीम दैट यू डू कैन बी अ न्यू वर्ल्ड आई एम वेरी ओपन टू इट माय क्राफ्ट गिव्स मी जॉय सो मोर ऑफ योर क्राफ्ट uh as when i'm actually doing makeup i'm creating something when i have agency over my own aesthetics mm. and uh my feelings then i'm able to i like the word agency over your own aesthetics yeah because you're always Mostly there's people so don't much even of a think about everywhere, it you know yeah and you have to it's a it's a it's a coordinated sort of collaborative effort yeah. a lot of the times but and i like being in kind of a camera mai thoda peacock ke jaise hu thoda like thoda khil aata hai jab अभी अभी जैसे हमने देख देखा अभी हमने देखा ही कैमरा यू नो अ लॉट ऑफ आर्टिस्ट जैसे उनको बहुत नर्वसनेस फील होता है कि कैमरा है अभी मेरा हाथ हिलेगा यू नो इवन माय हैंड शेक्स समटाइम्स बट व्हे द मोर कैमरास द मोर पीपल आर वाचिंग द कूलर आई फील इट इज लाइक आई एंजॉय पुटिंग ऑन अ शो या थोड़ा एग्जिबिशन सीन होगा व्हाट इज योर अदर क्वेश्चन मेरा दूसरा क्वेश्चन था आई हैव रिसेंटली चांस्ड अपॉन दिस टर्म एंड आई वाज एजुकेटेड बाय अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन सूरज हैज एजुकेटेड मी uh because i was saying certain things let's say, i'll explain what i was mm. feeling in a bit but i was saying i was projecting and verbalizing certain things to my friends mm. in quiet groups and my friend uh, suruj who's also an amazing drag queen she calls uh-huh. herself glorious luna and she's in drag uh she identified mm. for me that i was experiencing something called generational envy and i mm. thought that was so interesting i mean of course when you're first pointed out it it thoda थोड़ा Mm-hmm. It's always in hindsight that you realize, oh, I'm thoda back. Let's now get thoda to the front of the line. Thoda kam kam kari lete. But you realize, like, say, things have changed, right? Like in the beginning, let's say, women, like I said, you were a beauty queen, then you were something. Before that, you had to be an air hostess to be something. Yeah. That was the heights <laughs> of a woman's achievement, you know. Yeah. After air hostess came the supermodel. After supermodel came the actress. Mm. Today it's the influencer. Right. They are making more money. Yeah. So. what does that say about our goals and all of this so for me i felt like wow i know actors how hard they work and yep. what it takes uh surely and i mean no disrespect or offense to influencers i see you and i hear you today and it's different but i'm talking about my past mm. um few years so i used to feel like are this is just like sitting at home doing makeup and earning so much money mm. and professionals my assistants who've been working for 15 years in this business and not been able to make their own mark right and they are talented but yeah. they may not have other resources or skills or a personality type or whatever mm. it is a leader instinct mm. but these people are making 10 times more money mm. they're getting all the brands are sending them free makeup hum hamari bari kab aayega yaar mm. i still get lesser makeup than <laughs> influencer as a professional you know yeah. but uh, so that envy was there but uh, today i i really uh, respect it because it takes so much and you're putting yourself out there so much more um and you're able to sift through the nonsense that social media brings along with it mm-hmm. so hats off so no power to you. so the question is generational envy how do you think others and our viewers perhaps mm-hmm. can address their own feelings of uh instead of feeling happy for other people's plates being full ha hmm. kisi aur ka plate agar us yeah, pura bilkul. thali bhara hua hai to aap aapko khushi kyun nahi hoti ha khushi kyun nahi ho rahi aap aapko ye kyun lag raha hai ki are mera number kab aayega hmm. but i realize that if you celebrate other people's full plates 
then the universe automatically starts to give you more it's or so not. important you know that's very not. important and yeah it gives you more yeah. somewhere else yeah. that's what it'll fill you from somewhere else so envy wali feeling mein jab bhi sochti hu mujhe lagta hai ki envy wo feeling hai ki aapke mann mein secretly chahat hai wo paane ki jo logo ko mil raha hai that's where you feel envy mm. you're like oh if you didn't want it you didn't care mm. but because they get what you want mm. and now you say i'm not getting it so mm. i'm already hungry mm. okay meri bhook se mujhe hunger pangs mm. ho rahe hai upar se un logo ko double khana mil raha hai aur wo waste kar rahe hai unko wo deserve bhi nahi karte aur unko mil raha hai aur ye kisi bhi career mein ho sakta hai show business mein bahut zyada dikhta hai uske bare mein baat hoti hai but it's not only about influencers mm. non deserving people getting promoted in your office bilkul same politics ki wajah se politics ki wajah se ya kisi aur aap mehnat laga ते हो समय लगाते हो अपना नींद खो जाते हो बट नहीं आता है। रेल्टन एक सवाल है कई बार मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जहाँ पे मेरा टैलेंट या मेरी डिजर्विंग एबिलिटीज नहीं थी और आपके केस में भी मुझे लगता है ऐसे हुआ होगा फिर भी हम दोनों को चांस मिला बिल्कुल मौका मिला बिल्कुल तो तब हमें शॉर्टकट्स मिले और तब हम लोगों ने बहुत ग्रेटफुल होके कहा कि अरे कितनी आसानी से ये काम निकल गया अगर वही बात किसी और के लिए हो रही है तो हमें लगता है अरे उनको क्यों आसानी से मिल रहा है बिल्कुल So अभी हमारा समय नहीं है हम बट वी फॉरगेट हाउ लकी वी हैव बीन बिल्कुल लाइक आई आई रिमेंबर आई वाज 19 एंड आई वाज गिवन माय फर्स्ट कॉर्पोरेट असाइनमेंट तो जब वो हुआ एंड आई एम लाइक हाउ इज इट इवन पॉसिबल देयर आर पीपल वेटिंग फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर लाइक 20 इयर्स दे बिलीव कि मैं एक बार करियर कर लूं उसके बाद मैं कोचिंग hmm. का ट्रेनिंग करूंगी और फिर मैं कोच बनूंगी एंड हियर आई वाज 19 इयर ओल्ड एंड वॉज गिवन दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑन अ प्लेटर तो जब ये मिलता है तब नहीं सोचते तभी सोचते जब हमारा हमारा पेट भूखा है हाँ। या फिर अभी सिचुएशन में जब आपका पेट भूखा है तब आपको लगेगा कि अरे लोगों को क्यों मिल रहा है सो आई ऑलवेज फील एनवी इज अ मिरर फॉर अस टू नो कि कहाँ पे हम हमें लग रहा है कि हम भूखे हैं तो वो पहले फिगर आउट करे इफ यू वॉन्ट मेकअप and if you want free makeup and that's a status it's not mm. only the the money it's a mm. status like you know you are valuable yeah, that's enough. not the take away from my thing no? no i didn't i wasn't looking for the makeup you no, know what no, i mean no no it's like anything yeah. any celebration or yeah. recognition or the the status mm. otherwise people give or get mm. ye agar nahi chahiye agar ye aap achieve karna chahte ho to you do other things that you understand the best sure. but comparison in any way mm. is detrimental mm. hum किसी भी चीज से अपने आप को कंपेयर करे कंपेटिटिवनेस इज नाइस इज वेरी नाइस इट ब्रिंग्स आउट द बेस्ट इन यू बट कंपेरिजन इज सो कंपेटिटिवनेस इज हाउ डू आई यूज ऑल द पोटेंशियल आई हैव टू डू माय बेस्ट एंड टू अप द गेम एंड विन द गेम व्हिच इज ग्रेट बट कंपेरिजन इज ओ एम आई बेटर देन द अदर पर्सन एम आई सिमिलर एम आई एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट और इज शी एग्जैक्ट पर हम कोई सिमिलर होते ही नहीं एंड एंड आफ्टर लुकिंग एट स्टडीइंग मोर देन आई थिंक 40 50000 पीपल बाय नाउ आई कैन वाउच फॉर इट कि हर इंसान की अपनी एक खासियत खूबसूरती और यूनिकनेस है अगर वो एम्ब्रेस नहीं करो और सिर्फ इसमें भागते रहो तो आप अचीव भी कर लोगे तो भी कुछ नहीं होना बिल्कुल इवन इफ यू फील लाइक यू गॉट इट और यही लॉजिक हम यू कैन अप्लाई टू गे स्ट्रेट ट्रांस पीपल एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस यू नो सो ये भी तो क्लासिज्म है अलग किस्म का Yeah. जैसे हमने हाउस हेल्प का क्लासेस हम समझ में आता है कि अरे वो ऑपरेस्ट है तो उनको नहीं होना चाहिए पर अगर कोई टैलेंटेड मोर करेजियस है और नो विलिंग टू पुट इन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट्स विलिंग टू रन विद ट्रेंड विलिंग टू फेल एंड एंड बी अक्यूजली अगर उनमें वो है चीजें तो उनके वो बेनिफिट वो क्यों उन्हें क्यों ना मिले बिल्कुल एंड डेट मीन यू हैव टू डू दैट यू जस्ट है वट यू वॉन्ट टू डू बट वट यू सेट वॉज वेरी पावरफुल यू सेट आई हैव कम टू रियलाइज आई एम हैप्पी वेर आई एम Yeah. वो लोगों के पास होता ही नहीं है वो लोगों के पास होता ही नहीं है तो yeah. इसी कारण लोगों की दूसरों की प्लेट्स में देखना हमारे लिए बहुत जैसे मैं अपने क्लोज दोस्तों को हमेशा कहता हूँ कि I mean of course it sounds very sad uh, you guys might get like think oh god what's wrong here is he going through something but no it's just to say, I say to my friends that even if I go tomorrow like you know it's the end and I something happens and I have to go I am happy mm-hmm. I know that I've had a I feel like I've had a fulfilled and a full circle life um in all aspects i've experienced everything nice mm. that life has to offer and because of the struggles that i've been able to endure uh but when i go i don't want any uh, crying business and like mourning and all i said please fucking have a party <laughs> you know smoke some drink some this. and I'll play lady gaga rihanna beyonce <laughs> all the gay shit cuz that's what i want when i'm climbing up like say 40 50000 people you've interacted and studied or whatever um what would you say in your experience is the larger human condition uh is it hopeful is it sad is it ironic hmm. 
Yeah, because I feel like when you look from an outside macro lens, we're just like one species. <laughs> you know. On one But planet. look at the complexities. Yep. So we can't even make peace with one another. Yeah. True. More often than not. So what would you say given the times that we're in? We know that the unraveling of this uh, globe is has begun it's in proc so to speak. Mm -hmm. And we may not live through it but somebody will. Yes. Um so how do you think the human condition is because some of us are survivors, some of us are fighters and so many of us are aren't. Mm. And given our limitations uh right from say how art has once upon a time or music or religion has expanded us but today a lot is expanding in terms of technology and innovation and design but a lot is also diminishing us yep. and closing in with the boundaries and borders so what would you say is your human from understanding these 40 50000 armies this mm -hmm. army of so many people do you think what do you feel how optimistic do you feel i feel we are being trained every single day mm. to be slaves mm. Mm -hmm. okay the whole idea of algorithms to like how people are watching you all the notifications that you receive habits and addictions and the, people take pride like brands take pride in yeah. having your dopamine space. rush yeah and they say oh because this will give them rush let us throw this and let people get excited about that one sale mm -hmm. and one discount offer and one you know launch unfortunate as it may sound but we are part of this grid mm -hmm. and we don't think we can get out of it oh my god right like no matter how much mm. you fight it you are living the algorithm and mm. you are fed information and whatever you mm. so that will have an impact and unfortunately and we run india's only mental gym mm. and i started all of this during the pandemic the reason Congratulations being on that. thank yeah. you i feel people do not have the resources to fight it they believe whatever is shown to them as the truth mm. ye sab sab log khareed rahe mujhe bhi chahiye ye sabke paas hai mujhe bhi chahiye to ye फिट इन द बॉक्स या फोमो वाली जो फीलिंग है वो फ्यूअल हो रही है थ्रू द सिस्टम दैट वी आर इन सो मोर पीपल फ्यूअल इट वी डोंट नो वेदर वी रियली वांट इट और नॉट बट हैप्पीनेस लाइज इन नोइंग व्हाट एग्जैक्टली यू वांट एंड देन बीइंग एबल टू अचीव इट बिल्कुल और हम उसके पीछे भाग रहे हैं जिसके लिए हमारे मन में तो डिजायर ही नहीं है सो देयर इज अ फेमस लाइन राइट यू आर स्पेंडिंग द मनी दैट यू डू नॉट हैव थ्रू योर क्रेडिट कार्ड्स फॉर थिंग्स दैट यू डू नॉट वांट टू इंप्रेस द पीपल यू डू नॉट नो and eventually you're like oh but why am i not feeling happy mm. you won't you can't this is not possible because your the formula is incorrect mm. having said that i believe that human race is like like mumbai kars we always say are very very spirit of mumbai spirit of mumbai right so they are very they're like thriving species mm. so we'll figure it out mm. we'll figure it. so there would be a point where everything will just break down and we will fi find find a solution mm. out of it but it's many many years many, away many from years it Definitely. so our generation or the mm. next may be going to suffer through it and i always feel bombay as a city and i have born and brought up here mm. so when we were growing up we had the bridge construction happening yes. so all our like you know 15 years went in the first bridge con mm. construction now the entire generation like next 10 years we going to go through metro construction mm. probably the city might have after two generation a very beautiful infrastructure mm. but our generation has only seen broken parts and stuck up traffic mm. and that's exactly where we are at as sure. a generation we are just only suffering sure. and we will figure you know, things out this takes me back to a conversation i was having yesterday with my friend dhruv and something i said about something and he said are but why to put so much effort yeah it's not like we're going to uh, use it. see the change yeah. experience it we are not even going to be around when that happens and i said you know but that's the fault because we we shouldn't be putting an effort thinking of something for the future to reap its benefits that's not why you do something that's yeah. not why you fight for queer rights Absolutely. and that's not why i'm wearing my makeup and heels and standing out there as a uh, looking like a, a non binary person you know yeah. uh it's not for me to be invited everywhere it's for the generations after yeah so today you focus on let's build this damn sea link not for us to travel on it yeah true so someone else that will give you some purpose yeah and so the, the whole idea life. is that that upheaval that struggle all of this is required because we believe this will be the greatest life right when mm -hmm. technology is great when all the situation you know we get what we want mm. but we forgot that what we want mm. might not be the idea that we are mm. really happy with mm. and Going back to your midlife kind of a conversation, वही तो होता है मिड लाइफ में आगे पता चलता है कि पता नहीं यही करना था या नहीं करना था एंड द नेक्स्ट गोल्स आर नॉट एक्साइटिंग इनफ फॉर यू टू रियली 
you know probably here when you came you're willing to let go of whatever you had whatever mm. you owned to try something new and the mm. dream mattered mm. now you might not have that willingness mm. because you worked so hard to achieve what you have and what the things you have the house you have the pets you have the relationships you have it's like imagine you have to expend your bandwidth again to get all of it again somewhere yeah, else yeah it only matters how important hard. it is true if the very yeah. moment that becomes important enough then you know that all of this will remain and you can still build something new but it's, it's a matter of our importance and yeah. our our desire and willingness to do it yeah. like jab mental gym shuru kiya tha humne kaha ki we will contribute to making india mentally fit yeah. it's a humongous task yeah. you know india is not in the urban places and i'm the traveled... largest country in the world but also like people in rural areas yeah. jahan pe mental fitness mental health ka stigma itna zyada hai aur uske liye kuch karna hai to yeah. kab karenge kaise karenge abhi nahi pata yeah. but when you sign up for a goal that at large you know people will come together you mm. know something will happen you know because that's how movements are built that's mm. how larger ideas are built but is it important enough yes of course and, and i'm yeah, i'm 37 yeah. so you know very very close to where yeah. you're at but i found this newer idea to serve mm. in my life and i'm like okay i'm going to do this and in the second remaining half of my life let's figure out where this goes mm. but agar ye nahi kiya aur iske liye kaam nahi kiya to kya hi kiya Mm. फिर मतलब खुद का तो जो भी बेसिक नेसेसिटीज यू हैव टेकन केयर ऑफ नाउ प्रोबली इट्स अ टाइम फॉर यू टू बिल्ड समथिंग एंड फॉर यू माय क्वेश्चन या यू नो व्हाट इज दैट यू वांट टू बिल्ड एंड समथिंग दैट यू फील एक्साइटेड बाय समथिंग यू गेट इनटू अ स्टेट ऑफ फ्लो विद ओ माय गॉड यू नो व्हाट आई थिंक इवन यू आस्क मी समथिंग इट कुड बी समथिंग एल्स ऑफ कोर्स आई मीन आई 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 थिंक आई रियली लाइक टू हैव लाइक अ नाइस क्यूट हॉलिडे होम समवेयर एंड नॉट जस्ट फॉर मी बट टू हैव एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस इन रूम एंड लाइक कल्टीवेट लैंड to have like an airbnb or bnb um i enjoy being host i yeah. enjoy making others feel nice Comfortable and happy and yeah. so i'd like to do that maybe and then to make up on the side when i'm older do some bridal work or like some fashion work or uh-huh. i don't know let's see but i'm happy with my cats and my herbs and my and is it like exciting? oregano i mean <laughs> rosemary and thyme oregano it is oregano it is so do you have somebody who is new to makeup somebody who is like exploring this medium what would you tell them like you know how to approach this i know every every other person is talking about it it's more well uh, received and accepted mm. but i i have a genuine question okay i see these young girls and they wear a lot of makeup and i don't know why i feel this way because after having seen people mm. i i felt people 10 years ago were more comfortable in their skin mm. than what i see the younger generation because they are so much busy layering up mm. and you know it feels i feel a little sad about them mm. is it is it what you see in no. the young what do you see i see them as uh, finding their own armor Mm-hmm. because uh, i know that i don't wake up looking or feeling like the person that is on instagram on my mm-hmm. handle i am uh, uh, different mm. every day different i wake up and go to yeah. bed but um once i have on my my armor and it could be in the form of these tunnel earrings that i have on it could be in the form of painting in my eyebrows or making my hair slick uh or wearing a certain shoe or a mm. heel or mm. it changes your perspective a little bit and uh, i find that it allows you to access parts of your personality that are not available to you every moment so you only get it like when you you know you see beyonce become sasha fiers when she's on stage yes it's that yeah. so like recently i shot for this year i'm going to be on gq's best dress list wow again congratulations congratulations uh, <laughs> i'm very humbled and happy but we just shot something and i wore my friend veer shethe's uh, label like a suit custom from him and it made me like also um, okay i won't give my location but i was going to say it's a hill <laughs> so walking down the slope of my building in that thing and i had my heels and i was looking so fab wow. i felt the right word uh, would be posh posh it is i yeah. felt posh because and my we was picking me up in a cab and i was walking down hill in my heels and my suit looking glamorous and it <laughs> gave me a vibe and the whole day after my shoot you, you know at the shoot i had this confidence like normally okay you can see how i am but at the shoot i was posing like like that doing yeah. all those dance moves and everything moves like poetry you know yeah. because i'm in this element and i'm feeling myself yeah. that's what it means like when the young kids say i'm fucking feeling myself yes you really feel your oats <laughs> um and i the whole day i was so sassy with my one liners <laughs> and i so was you're like saying, you're saying the outfit played an important role it just yeah, brought out something which, which is, is why the kids today say nice fit 
Uh-huh. Okay. Nice, uh, nice drip. Nice drip. Style, yeah. Yeah, you I know, know. Because you you drip it and you like, like <laughs> eat it. Lick it. Why? Like I kind of agree with you. Like I did a photo shoot underwater mm. with a dear friend of mine, David D'Souza. Mm. And obviously it's an underwater photo shoot mm. and we were doing mental fitness underwater so it's like mm. you know uh with like some chains in my my neck and you know trying Were to show for Nemo? no i wasn't <laughs> he was not going through any mental fitness issues <laughs> but yeah he had daddy issues to begin with oh, like <laughs> but we were uh and while well, shooting and you know because you get into the character and you're mm. underwater and you're suspended and you're trying to emote oh, it cool. definitely brought and that was the first time i learned makeup from mm. someone because i wanted to play around you know mm. it's a whole idea and just so i mean women understand with hair right yeah you understand with well, hair we do yeah feels. absolutely like your high ponytail and your low ponytail will say two things about you also i think my 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 process of getting into my coaching zone is dressing up and also mm. when i'm draping a sari for some reason it is one of the absolutely. most absolutely it's such a beautiful thing to yeah. watch even my mother any woman dress up and do her sari pleating pleating and then the pleating i think is 10 minutes and hold the pin in the mouth and you tuck your you pull your back <laughs> of your sari with your heel ka back you know it's so cute i love it and that's a process i think yeah. all of us get into those process and what you're saying is makeup can yeah. become one of them yeah I want to ask you something. Do you teach makeup? Is it possible for me yeah. to come and learn from you? I mean, I have a YouTube channel. I haven't uploaded in six years, uh-huh. but I still have ninety-four thousand followers. Wow! So that means something about their loyalty. It says Absolutely. something about my content. And what Even is the channel name? Elton J. Fernandez. But uh, <laughs> this is because it was like ten years ago, and you know, I was I was part of India's first YouTube fan fest. Wow! Thank you very much. And in fact, I was very humbled to share a ticket counter space with the Superwoman. Oh, yeah. what are you saying? Yeah. So we did a live makeover on on that show, and it was great. But uh, you know, after that, people always ask me, "Why you stop? Why you stop? Why you stop?" I'll tell you. Yeah, why you stop? stop? Because I was this nobody from Hyderabad. Yeah. You know, uh, middle class upbringing, and like nobody really. I was never born like good looking or anything. I was told I was ugly always. So um, and black. So I never felt like wow okay someone's going to recognize me anyway. After YouTube fan fest, people and my YouTube channel, uh, people were recognizing me everywhere. Going to the mall means I'm being asked for a oh you are doing let's take a photo. So you stopped out. because of that? Because I was never doing makeup and going out. See how I used to look. So you could have also worn I makeup and gone out. No, my t-shirts and my clothes. It was so bad. Like you don't know how to dress for camera. Uh, Then I figured out just by feedback. Huh. looking at myself over a period of 4 years and seeing yak yak okay getting better getting better getting better okay now i have a hair piece when i have a better hairdresser and a barber okay wow great okay you know but uh, but you had a fan following in no, spite of all of this it. i didn't like that and i didn't like being asked for photographs and feeling pressurized to do it otherwise you'd be called a bitch mm mm-hmm. you know all the time yeah the so i just face. didn't want to be known and i just hid into my cocoon the lower case letter d and the loop in the letter d yeah <laughs> yeah okay. so when it is inflated it talks about how sensitive you can be to any yeah. criticism mm. any opinion mm. any judgment is it so am you, i sensitive yeah so yeah. you walk into a room and you see people judging you it takes some time for sure, you to readjust sure, sure. and sure. and go around but it happens immediately almost yeah, yeah but yeah. it is it is that constant vigilance yeah. that What you're on wanting to be seen or heard does it boil down to that Maybe. in a way but yeah. what you said you know you didn't like the tension mm. the tension that also brought lot, lots of opinions and mm. these people with that particular letter d mm. also are very sensitive about what they wear mm. and how they carry themselves how and look, I, you know. i'm just so happy that you're in a career where you can Visual. play with it mm. you know because most people have this trait and they only feel uncomfortable but you're wow. in this field nice. you have this trait it's kind of a sensitivity mm. trait but you command it mm. you master it to somebody who is say for example has heightened sense of listening and they become musicians mm. then for them the heightened sense of sense of music uh, listening can become irritating because the noise and small little things that mm. they can hear otherwise mm. but here they are in a career where it is appreciated mm. and channelized mm. so i'm very happy that you have a trait like That's that cute. which thank you naturally brings the best mm. and also has other challenges of like touch me not cute okay So your signature talks about how adjusting hmm. and how dramatic you are at the same time. So it is a flare is there in a, flare okay. and the size of the writing is much bigger than all other handwriting samples. Oh, it's sample. good you say that because you know in most documents pe ja, just a passport report would like such a tiny box they give you I and you can't create it because I can't fit this damn thing in it. 
but also that's that's your life right you can, could never fit into I the guess. box that was given to you wow i like it i never thought about that day. and then you asked us to write our name in capitals what is that for because sometimes i can't read what is written in the signature oh <laughs> practical <laughs> reasons <laughs> so after seeing many many signatures i'm like okay is it d is it j is it f then i'm like okay let's make a format okay, where cheeky. everybody writes it yeah. so going back to your signature so most of the time when you want to express yourself and when you're very clear <clears throat> with what exactly you want to say you become a different person altogether you mm. just you know that that swag that you spoke mm. about the one liner the sassiness mm. all of that just comes to you without trying much mm. but when you diminish when mm. you get into that sensitivity mm. or when you just become caged yeah i can't connect my thoughts sometimes at in that all. moment you know you are like the greatest of communicators mm. and you would just become like completely unavailable yeah. and i'm trying to tell you that the trigger there is other people's judgment mm. so as a environment mein jahan pe aapko uncomfortable feel hota hai mm. you switch off and switch on without your knowledge par mm. ye kai baar hum kai logo ke sath hota mm. hai to ye dependency jo environment mein hai use hame thoda sa kam karna chahiye because mm. agar wo nahi karenge to hum agar naye jagah pe gaye to wo jagah mm. decide karti hai hamara behavior kaise mm. hoga wo log decide karte hai ki hum kitna comfortable feel karenge but the comfort the confidence and the the whole space of being yourself mm. must come from within sure absolutely so that's something i feel just look for those micro triggers and Bilkul. you'll just no i have many triggers ha huh? it's mm. good you brought that up it's mm. like i have many triggers and i'm just thinking about all the actresses all the people that you've worked with mm. is there anything and i don't want to know about the people i know there are many a listers but what aspects about people that you enjoy when you work with them what is so what is fascinating about them that you say i would like to work with this kind of person over and over again you know i get a joy out of because when i today because of my the time i've done this i can when i look at a human being i don't mean just a woman when i look at a human being it doesn't matter who they are i see them in their best light so i see people as like finished product I don't see. I I don't feel like. Hmm. Iska naak thik nahi. Isko kya karunga main? Hmm. I see it somehow. I see it with in their best light. Uh, and I love that about my instinct mm-hmm. because then it's easy for me to bridge worlds. Right. I, so what what kind of people did you like working with? Oh my god! I really I like my job and my craft because you are always sitting in the makeup chair with someone who is bare faced. Wow. Right? Yeah. I have the authority to say, "Hey, could you strip off what your your makeup is? Mm-hmm. Let's start afresh." And in that moment, they can't be anything but vulnerable because you're seeing them for who they really are. Yeah. Um so it also takes a certain sense of uh, bravado and confidence to be in that chair to show someone Absolutely. that face. While there are of course everybody all of us have our own gray areas and yeah. you know, with actors a lot of them can be a lot uh, fairly narcissistic and it's required yep. to survive that mm. industry it's required but i think it's nice to know the person that they wake up as first nice. for me i bond with that yeah and then let's take a journey together you know but uh, for me i like that like when i saw chitrangada the first time i remember seeing her without makeup and i just the first thing i said to her oh my god you're beautiful Oh, I said, like, "Can I give you a hug? Because oh. I really think you're so beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I don't even think we need to do much." She's like, "No, no, no, please." <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah. yeah, I like uh, raw faces. It's really nice. Is there any way that you turn yourself on in a work mode? Like you know, get into a flow. I do these three things that put me into a flow state, or like get me into my best possible professional mindset. No, that happens once I get on set, and I. Yeah, like if I'm fed, I'm nice. If I'm fed, I'm nice. Are you fed now? No, I didn't. Eat. I ate uh, something. She made me dosa. Okay, before dosa you get dosa. nasty, we should like. No, no, no. Yeah. That's fine. I don't get nasty. <laughs> okay. I can. Okay. I, I no, can I tell. I, I have like your that. handwriting sample. I can tell this. Don't okay, say, please. You know, tell na, tell na. Yeah, actually, you can. Yeah. Get, yeah very letter? sarcastic. Very I'm sarcastic. Very sarcastic. Yeah. yeah, and I you love be. it. You love yeah. it. My you claws just... can come out. Yeah, I know. That's why. Are you fed well? Yeah. No, today there's no claws. Manicured. Thank you so much. It was a Thank wonderful, you. wonderful conversation. Also, as a free flowing perspective you. that I think all of us need to have. Yeah, enjoyed mm-hmm. myself. Thank you, Darshiko. Oh, Thank oh. you. Your time. Acha, are you are you feeling excited and happy and content right now? Yeah. <gasps> He said, "Yeah." Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. जो बात हम पे बीती ना हो उसको समझ पाना मुश्किल ही नहीं. In a way, नामुमकिन है. So when we have conversations as deep as these. तो हमें पता चलता है कि लोगों का नजरिया कैसे बनता है वो अपने डिसीजंस क्यों लेते हैं एंड व्हेन यू एम्पथाइज विद ईच गेस्ट ऑन द अदर तीस राना शो जब आप उनकी उनकी पर्सनालिटी उनके डिसीजंस उनके पर्सपेक्टिव समझते हो 
तो आपके लाइफ में जो वो लोग हैं ना जिनको हम समझ नहीं पाते उनको भी धीरे धीरे समझना शुरू करोगे फिफ्टीन पार्ट सीरीज जो शो की है वो एक पूरी प्रोसेस है तो मेक श्योर दैट यू मेक आउट सम टाइम टू वॉच ऑल द एपिसोड्स दैट वी हैव रिलीज टिल नाउ वो शेयर वाला बटन वो सब्सक्राइब वाला बटन और नोटिफिकेशन आइकन मत भूलिएगा ताकि इस प्रोसेस को बनने के लिए इसमें आपने आपको घुलने के लिए आपको जो भी टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड है वो आपको मिलते रहे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग पार्ट ऑफ दिस शो पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस एंड आई सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक बिकॉज हर सैटरडे को हम हमारा नया एपिसोड रिलीज करेंगे थैंक यू बाय बाय